am back for another video. Warning. I am not a doctor. I am just a guy who really likes um, science and nature. And this one sort of crosses a line between nature, science, and medical field. So, um, how HIV jumped from primates into humans. Okay, so to begin with, there are many different forms of autoimmune deficiency viruses out there. Felines have one. There's one called simian um, immunodeficiency virus, which is the one that we're going to be talking about today, along with the human um, immune deficiency virus that we're also going to be talking about. So, as you know, make sure I'm still on track. As you know, the virus can be transmitted via blood and through other bodily fluids, excluding saliva, sweat, and urine. We can assume that SIV, the simian form of the virus, or I shouldn't say form of the virus because it's, anyway, um, the SIV or simian, simian immune deficiency virus um, is sort of transmitted in the same way. There's evidence that chimpanzees may have caught SIV from monkeys which the great ape hunts. So, um, a chimpanzee goes out with its group to hunt monkeys. They get scratched or they get bit, and then they get in the process of doing whatever it is that they do, they get monkey blood into their bloodstream, and they end up with SIV. Assuming that that monkey has SIV. So now we're going to move into how potentially SIV jumped to humans. We're going to assume one thing in this video, that the chimpanzee already has SIV. So a hunter is out hunting. And sadly, in Africa, um, in countries where people hunt for food, a monkey and ape may be on the menu. The hunter has already dispatched the body, or the animal, and is now ready to prepare the body for either sale or for personal use. The hunter has a sore on the arm that is open. During the butchering process, of course, the hunter um, is exposed to chimpanzee blood. Now, as long as the hunter doesn't have cuts on their body, obviously the blood cannot enter the body. However, um, our hunter has a cut on his arm, and this cut allowed the chimpanzee's blood to access the hunter. Now, when the pandemic started in the 1980s, there was little doubt that the virus had been killing people in Africa before the pandemic started. And it's thought that SIV had jumped to humans sometime in the early 20th century. We believe sometime around the 1920s. That is um, the end of our video. And that was a little bit about the HIV um, going from... SIV into um, HIV. You can read more about it by searching for it through Google or whatever um, browser you use. Hopefully you do. Um, it is an interesting read if you're in the science. Um, and there may be more than one way that this happened. 
uh, this is one way. Don't forget to keep learning. Subscribe if you're not. Leave me a comment or a question. Be nice. And I will see you in the next one.